Hi, my name is Gala. I am a Looker Studio Specialist and I work with data visualization. But today we will talk about Google Sheets formulas because, yeah, I have to do it every day, almost every day. <laughs> and uh, this is a typical case that I faced up quite often when we work. We have CRM data in Google Sheets. Uh, where we have some date, UTM source, campaign name, and revenue. And we have two ads platforms like Google and Bing, where we have cost. And uh, for example, we want to count rows, and for that we need to merge data from CRM platform with ads platform data. I already prepared everything for Google Ads, and uh, now we will work on Bing Ads and uh, replicate what I already did for Google. Bam, bam, bam. What I wanted to mention that all data here is a random. This is my preparation for data. For data, so I select random dates, random revenue, UTM sources, campaign name, and even I have here rules how to create campaign names. So, data is random. Uh, let's start how to join the revenue from CRM system. We need to join three fields: date, UTM source, and UTM campaign. Let's do it on a separate separate tab. Uh, we have already been query tab. Uh, let's imagine that I pull this data automatically via some connectors. Uh, usually I work with supermetrics, but it could be other connector, it doesn't matter. I create a new tab. We'll call it Bing Ads. Sorry. Bing Ads. And I will color it blue. I like to add different colors for tabs because it's easier to work with uh, when we have a lot of tabs. And uh, first of all, I will copy here data from Bing Query. Why I do it? Because sometimes we have some percentage that we should divide for by 100 because it is not percentage. Sometimes we have some dots, errors uh, or something and this additional tab allows us to use some formulas to avoid these errors because when we connect data to data visualization tool data should be unique and uh, well structured i mean if we have numbers here and we have letter um, error message in one row your dashboard will be ruined because of this error so uh, first of all i do well, I open um, and I do some link to bin query, bin query tab uh, to select data range. I select. I don't need to use rows numbers. I just want to select A till F to without any numbers to select all rows from this data range. Then I will fix uh, first row and make bold, for example. Mm, here, we, here we are, we have data, campaign name, and some metrics for Bing. Next step, I want to separate this data and we need to add here a CRM revenue. Uh, first of all, what do I do? I go to CRM tab, I check UTM source, and I want to check if how our Bing Ads called in CRM. Because it could be Bing, Bing Ads, Microsoft Ads, MSVT, and so on, could be different names. And I would like to be sure that we have only one. For that, I use next formula. I use formula unique, and I select the whole column. And I can see that here we have only Bing. Then I want to pass only 
main only value of this formula and I add this Bing here. If you have several different options, which probably you will have if you take revenue from Google Analytics, like definitely you will have several options. Here, it, yeah, it should be another video. Let me know if you want some tutorial for that. Uh, for now, we have only one uh, value, and this is Bing, and I will keep it here. And now we are ready to use index match formula. So our first option, it will be index and match formulas. What should I do for that? Let's start to write formula. Uh, our formula will be index. Here we say, okay, please take data from this column. Column number F column F from CRM data tab. And then comma. Uh, then we should show row and column. Column we don't need to select because we have only one. But row for row we will use match formula. Match. If we have only one column to match, we can use this uh, help from Google Sheets uh, where we can search, where we can select search range and search type but for here we have three columns too much and this is more complicated for that we write one comma then we, oh, we need to write all conditions that we have first condition is data source should be big so you write data source our bin should match with somewhere some row in this column. Then, mm, then we should match date and uh, campaign name. For that we close the bracket. Multiply and open a new condition. New condition is Oh, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. A new condition is uh, date equal with some date from this cell. Close bracket. Multiply. Open new condition. And our campaign name should be equal with some campaign name from this cell. Then comma zero this is search type and close main bracket that is it we got 276 this is our revenue and let's fix some parameters in our formula uh, I want to fix F column F J1 I want to fix this one I want to fix this I want to fix column but don't want to fix number of row I want to fix this column the same with B I fix only B but not row number and this but in this case if we if we don't find if formal doesn't find this match we will get an error for example let's continue this formula till the end of this sheet of the tab and we will have this error I know that I want to pull this data to Google or to Looker Studio so uh, we cannot have any errors in the column so let's work with this I use if I use formula if error formula and uh, yeah in this case I can continue and uh, if we if formal doesn't find match for our conditions we go we will have nothing we will don't have an error that is it this is our first option how to do uh, what do I not like in this option I use this but if you have a lot of rows for example you have 10,000 rows this formula is really heavy and uh, your Google Sheets will not work well if you have a lot of rows 
So for this, we can use another option that I used before, and I try to use it right now as well. And this is the look up, the look up function. Uh, what is the difference? The main difference between these two functions, uh, index function, it's super flexible, and we can match different columns. It doesn't we can match several columns and we don't care about order of columns. But when we work with the look up function, CRM revenue two. When we work with the look up function, we can match only one column, and this column should be left. How can we avoid this? We can avoid this using additional column. It will be synthetic column, and we call it index. I already created this index column for CRM, and uh, this is you can find it. And now we just need to repeat this index column for Bing Cats tab. It will be like this. If date is blank, please use blank cell. If it is not, let's join date with data source uh, oh sorry with campaign name let's me check date uh, date data source campaign name yeah correct it is correct date became some number and we don't care about it at all so we don't need it it is just index and uh, next next step in this formula I will I want to use array formula here because I want to apply this formula for all rows in the current tab array formula for this I want to change uh, links to cells to date range, a part of L1 because this is only one cell. For other cells I change link from one cell to the date range. And voila, we got it. We have it. Uh, we have this we filled all rows in this column. Then I would like to add another column because I have it for Google Ads. Uh, I will show you on the next video. Why do I need it? Uh, here formula will be if, uh, I will use the right formula as well, if uh, data is empty, please use empty cell. If not, please write Bing ads. This is my array formula. I just know, I do some note for our ads platform. I will need it later. Uh, then we are ready to write our VLOOK app function. It's super easy. Probably you know it. We use search K. We do link to CRM tab and count number of columns one two three four five six column number six and uh, is sorted zero and that is it it is the same oh here we can change to dollars as well uh, then I would like to use the same if error condition and uh, I would like to use array formula. This is another big difference between uh, between the lookup and index match formulas. Actually, if you know how to solve it, let me know because I didn't find. I like to use array formulas uh, because I use data connector services like Supermetrics and uh, data updates daily basis and we have a lot of rows and if I use index match formula I have to copy this formula manually for each row and uh, if 
we have more rows, I have to open the document and copy the formula. But sometimes when I have a lot of documents, I forgot about it. It's absolutely normal. So I like to use array formulas for that because it doesn't matter how many rows do we have, how many rows added uh, which day uh, this formula works and I don't need to check it. Uh, option two, look up, I will use, I will add it for you as this array formula. So that is it, what I wanted to show you today. We have two options. Okay, our goal is merge data from two tables based on three columns and we did it uh, using two options index match and we look up functions we talked about difference between these two functions and um, yeah if you know how to use array formula with index and match let me know it, i'm really curious to know it and hope you like this video give me like write comments and see you soon